Hi guys! <laughs> My name is Grace. That's really high energy right there. Um, I'm doing a divine feminine mind reading this time. It's like I know I'm connecting more with divine feminine. So if you're a divine feminine watching this, if you're a divine masculine watching this, let me know. If you don't want to let let me know in the comments, you know, email me. <laughs> but yeah, it's up to you. But so that I know. <laughs> so that I can just, you know, anchor my reading regarded regarding to whoever is watching it. Because I feel like most divine feminines are watching these kind of readings. This is about divine feminines. This is how about about making sense of our minds, making sense of our energies on where we're currently at at the moment, how we're feeling towards our divine masculines how we're viewing them how what messages we want to relay to them you know like just trying to make sense of our minds and our energies and why are we experiencing this may answer also why you're experiencing the things that you're currently experiencing right now why you're feeling detached why you're feeling an imbalance so yeah, if you feel guided to watch this video, if you're a divine masculine, divine feminine, if you're you feel like you're a twin flame, you're not sure. I feel like there's a message here for you. So keep watching. I'm gonna do the general energies for the divine feminines. Basically, I already recorded this video, but three fourths of the video that I did has no um audio on it. So. It doesn't make sense to just put an audio to it. I tried, but I thought I just re-record it. If that's how much I love you guys. <laughs> no, that's just how much. I don't know. I was just feeling, you know, just that's probably not probably many people are connecting with that. And, um, you know, I'll just do it all over again. Energies will still be energies. So, what's our general energies? Divine feminines. I did a divine masculine reading. What are divine masculines are thinking? What's in their mind? What do we need to know? And I'll link that video down below. If you want to, if you're interested in that. If you haven't watched that. So, from the previous reading, actually what came up is... One of ones in reverse, ace of ones in reverse, and it's grounding for creativity. But right now, I feel like the divine mass feminines that I'm connecting with, our current energies are the four of swords in reverse. We have no chill. Our minds are not stabilized. Our, we're feeling confused. We're not going within. We probably need to meditate, but we're not doing it. So we need we need this peace of mind, but there's like chaos in our minds right now that's where we're currently at energetically at the moment and it makes sense because with the one of ones we're not grounded um and i'm feeling this too as a divine feminine do you know how much um <laughs> jewelry pen magic things I have to wear to be able to be able to ground myself like this um, pendant here see the linga pendant and um, this the chakra balancing bracelet and um, it's still my energy is still crazy with all these changes in energy especially with this full moon and Capricorn um, I just feel so fatigued if you're f feeling that way too then we need to rest with all these changes in energies as, that are happening. Um, we're still being affected by our divine masculines, whatever they're going through right now. So, yeah, that's the message for us. That's where we're currently at. So, what else? How are we viewing our divine masculines at the moment? I'm using this Hidden Realm card. How we're viewing our Divine Masculines. Mm. 
I'm thinking if, if I'll get one card or three cards. Why am I seeing the devil card here? I don't I don't like that. <laughs> but there's this strength card. It's all about healing. We know they're go going through healing. Um, the devil card. That's probably why I noticed that is because they're healing those toxicities in their in our lives. It could be connected to us or just the people that in the other people in their in their life. They're going through this inner healing, and trying to get gain more strength to hopefully be able to come to us too. That's how we're viewing our divine masculines. It's like. They're trying to tame the beast. And I feel like we are represented by this. We're trying to guide them. So that's how we're viewing our divine masculines. Six of Wands. This is all about balancing. This is all about um, trying to... I don't know, because it kind of came out reverse to me but i feel guided to not read it in reverse because i feel like whatever this they're going through our divine maskings are going through they come out of it victorious with the victory card there and i'm gonna stop there it just really reminds me of moths attracted to a flame so it could be that like we're attracted to our divine maskings like moths or they're attracted to us like moths to the flame either way whatever works for you whatever you feel resonates with you because it's like i don't feel like it's on a one-way thing it's a two-way thing with the balancing here with the six and that's the, the reason why it probably came in reverse too but i feel guided to read that card upright is that it's like surrendering ego. Ego is still there. That's probably what the divine masculine is needing to heal. Egos in their mind. That's probably what's blocking them to come towards us. And um, yeah, especially if if we've already told, if we've been honest and we're living authentically in our lives. We feel like we've done everything we can do for our divine masculines. We've already, you know, told them. We've been honest to them. How we or they already know how we are feeling towards them. So it's like, for most divine masculines, it's, it, I feel like it's their time now to reach out, really. Because I feel like before, the energies are like, most of us divine feminines are on the chasing chasing the divine masculines but now we're, we're now standing on our power so the energy is like now that we've taken a step a step back and we're standing in our power it's like that's how the divine masculines are getting attracted to us then we're not chasing them anymore but we're like attracting them that's how the effect whether we're deliberately doing that or not that's really how energy works and that's what's happening so how we're viewing the connection with our divine masculine and i'm using the sacred rebels cards here i'm still thinking of that reading that i did with no sounds like there's so good energies and synchronicities in that but that's probably a lesson i need to learn like perseverance and patience and doing it in all over again and um letting go of that <laughs> so let's just focus on this reading now let's see this card wants to come out oh legacy of light so, this is how we're connecting with our divine masculines. This is very interesting because it's like, it's like how we're viewing our connection with our divine masculines. We do realize that we're connecting with them astrally. 
and from different it's like different dimensions here and at the same time it's like we are aware that we uh, um, have been connected with our divine masculines from lifetimes to lifetimes from different lifetimes and I feel like this legacy of light is about the legacy why we we're like looking at this twin flame thing because we know that there is a mission for us to do in this lifetime that's where how we're currently looking at this connection it's like beyond romantic and if you're still not there i feel like that's where you're going through that's what we're learning currently at the moment it's beyond the romantic connection it's we're put here for a reason to help the world and to help ourselves to ascend so yeah and we're being guided through that with this it's like this is like the guidance that we're getting this is like the ancestors and this is like he this is like us in the middle and this is like the inner child that we're healing in the process so it's all connected all one um, we feel connected with our divine masculines so how are we viewing the current environment that we're in it could be a situation that we find ourselves in something that we created intentionally or unintentionally in terms of karmically something that we've attracted in our life because of our own energies whether it's positive or negative but i really don't want to talk about positive or negatives because every experience is a lesson is a learning you know and i'm reading all those i have a script here oh my gosh but let's just do this okay i don't want i'm not i'm not explaining why i have a script like i don't want to miss anything i want to say everything that i want to say so this is um looking at the energies of how we are viewing our current environment this is like the things that that are external influences that we are not in control of so us divine feminines what's the energies within our environment how are we viewing our current environment how is it affecting us how we're viewing it one card please this. not taking it it's two cards not feeling it just one seven of discs <sighs> okay from the previous one that reading that i did it's about temperance card and it's about integrating polarities like there will be people that we're not resonating anymore and um it's like accepting our differences while be not being triggered anymore by the presence in our lives but with this what i got is a seven of discs which is incubation um hmm. this is like in our current environment we're learning how to connect spiritually and astrally with our twin flame at the same time we're learning how to wait this is all about waiting yeah it's like even though we're not together with our divine masculines at the moment we know we're connected with them we we feel their presence anyway yeah this is like the environment that we're currently in is teaching us patience that's why there's incubation that in that so what else Um, from this this always comes up so for me this is like 
eight of cups is like letting go of something that doesn't serve you anymore it could also be letting go healthily of our divine masculine so we can focus on ourselves letting go of our divine masculines for the meantime so i'm probably connecting with the divine feminines that have let go of their divine masculines in the meantime and detach from them and it's a good thing because um now it's like we're still connected with them like the love is not gonna fade away but it's like we're putting ourselves first and we're doing this for ourselves and it's like the hermit card we're, we're doing this to seek more wisdom so yeah what else how are we energetically the energies the external influences how we're viewing our environment and we have the devil card there again so some environments that we're currently in it might be toxic i don't know why i'm doing it this way so one card how we're viewing our environment ah oh, so much energies oh okay <laughs> it's like we're looking at in our environment and everywhere we look we're getting signs everything in our environment reminds us of the past reminds us of our divine masculine it's like you go to, you go out you hear a song you think of your divine masculine even though you're not deliberately thinking of your divine masculine you're like preoccupied with something you watch it which you watch a tele someone um like a guy is like the first name of the guy is the first name of your divine masculine or like whatever signs and symbolisms you're, you're seeing whether it's like animals around you or something or just Im images whatever that is how do i know because that's what i'm currently experiencing right now and the more i doubt about the doubt this um the signs the more it like bombards me so there's no use to like doubting that um how are we viewing current environment what else from i want to get from this after tarot one more okay so that one came out justice no matter how much reading i do this card already came out but i feel like it's in reverse in the same question so no matter what how many readings i do this justice card keeps coming out and this justice card came out from the divine masculine reading that i do um, so I will link that down below if you haven't watched that. Basically, it's like divine masculine mind reading. What do they know? What do they need to know? What do we need to know about our divine masculines? So, yeah. This is like balancing. We know that we're currently going through this. And our divine masculines are currently going going through this balancing this karmic this is like karmic clearing clearing all these karmic energies whether it's a karmic partner a karmic situation this is where we're currently at the endings of this um yeah especially with that full moon and capricorn this is what is being integrated at the moment so that's that karmic balance it could be legal too it could be us divine feminines going through some legal situations such as trying to get a divorce or whenever I think of legal, yeah, that's my examples for that divorce or about child. It could be debt. It could be like debt, like debt about money <laughs> and also like finances. Um, also i'm getting like about land like like land ownership that's what what that is about so that's 
it could be about our divine masculines. It could also be about us. So, yeah, that's how we're currently viewing our current environment. So now, if this is for the divine feminines that are currently in a karmic relationship. So if you know that you are... If you're a divine masculine and you're watching this for your divine feminines, then if you are aware that your divine feminines are in a karmic situation and in a karmic relationship with another person, then this is the reading. And if you're a divine feminines and you are in a karmic relationship, then this is the reading. Then I'll do other karmic things that are not um, a karmic partner that we're trying to clear. So I'll do that after this. You can skip to that. But you can still watch this if you want. So we're really working towards that. We're really focusing towards that. We're really focusing towards our pentacles on that. I just noticed that. So that's message. That's what we're trying to do. Huh. So what's the energy surrounding this? If you're a divine feminine that is with a karmic, another karmic partner, what's your energy towards that situation? Oh, six of cups. And it, this is like six of cups again from a different deck. Six of cups already came out. So, I feel like you're still trying to balance this energy. Do you know what? Six sixes come up, came up in the reading from the previous reading that I've done that didn't record well. And the only six that didn't come out is a six of cups. And now it came out. So I feel like the message here is sharing support. This is like um, you're tr still trying to support each other. Um... So you're like in the good in good terms with your karmic partner. Also, this could also be that you're in this relationship with another person that is not your twin flame because they're sharing support. They're supporting you in other ways. Obviously, it's not like heart to heart connection. Not like to that extent of as a twin flame but it's like you're getting support from them whether it's financially materially like comfort or emotional support so that's how you're viewing this relationship with another person divine feminines if you're watching this so if you're in a karmic situation with another person and so, what else? How you're coping. So, your this is your energies towards that. Now, how you're coping with this situation with another person. That's not your, that's not your dream claim. Mm. I feel like you want to end this. It must have been happy at first and you must have been celebrating at first but I feel like it's not it's not anymore. It's not getting you the satisfaction anymore. You wanna go towards your twin flame with this eleven eleven card here and you know you are aware that it's not your twin flame and it's not gonna give you this um kind of satisfaction that your that foundation, that stability, that your soul is one thing. So that's that. Um, you, I mean, you might have thought that they will provide that. You might have thought they're your soulmate and they probably are your soulmate, but they're not your twin flame. And that's different. Now that you probably met your twin flame, you probably, some of you already probably met your twin flame after you've already been committed in a committed relationship with this person 
so getting away um getting out of this relationship is like a challenge for you too so yeah what else what else what's the other um what you're truly wanting what's your soul truly wanting and i'm seeing like the ace of cups here you want this infinite unconditional love well yeah let's see what you're truly wanting you want to be single <laughs> too with this nine of pentacles i just noticed that so what's you truly wanting seven of swords in reverse so you f feel like for some of you it could not be yeah healthy relationship with a karmic partner so you want to get away from this there might have been something toxic there might have been some sort of cheating or deception within this karmic partner and you both have to learn that it's like ending that that's ending because it's like they're like almost like getting caught with that and it could also be you you know you're not truthful with your with uh, with this other person and you want to clear this energy because it's not you know it's not living authentically so yeah there's some sort of lying and the de deception to with this um karmic relationship this does not apply for everyone but for some of you this is the energy that where you're currently in i'm getting like two different scenarios here two different sets of people so yeah it's not always like if you're in a karmic relationship that it's not always like evil you know um But it's like if you know in yourself that you're staying, you know in your, you know when you, you are the only person that can know when you still have to stay within this relationship. Like, be honest with yourself and go through self evaluation. Like, what it is that you're really wanting? Um. Why you're still staying within this relationship if it's even if you feel like it's not authentic to your soul if even if you, it's not what your soul is wanting you could be staying in this relationship because of ego because um of other people what other people may think you know those things and if you're staying in this relationship for a comfort sense of comfort and um yeah if you're probably worried of your material aspects so yeah that's where you're currently at so if you're in with a karmic partner and you're a divine feminine so now i'm doing other karmic energies that we have to clear up it is like besides have having a karmic person that you're in a relationship with this is like this could be family these other karmic things connection to family and other things such as finance finances jobs home you so what's our energies towards that for the divine feminines that are not with a karmic partner what car other karmic things what are energies with our other karmic things that we need to clear whatever that may be one card mm. three of swords moving towards freedom you want we want to break free we want to get away of whatever this thing that's keeping us in this pain keeping us in this victim mentality keeping us yeah keeping us in this pain keeping us broke keeping us broke keeping us broken so whatever this heartbreak and pain 
we want to move towards freedom and we want to break free from that. Whatever these karmic energies that are still attached to us, we already know, I feel like at this point in time, we already know what these karmic energies that we need to heal. And if not, then you're, it's probably because we're not stabilizing our mind. If you don't know and you still feel like you're confused what it is that you need to heal more, this is what you need to do. You need to stabilize your mind. You need to get, get in that meditative mode. However, you want to do that. Three of Swords. So, energies towards that. How are we coping with these other karmic energies? That is not a karmic partner. How, how are we coping with that? Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So for me, what the first message for me is lack mentality. Our energies are not balanced and um, our, gen our energies are still getting triggered by whatever these karmic things that are in our, within our environment. And I feel like we're trying to manifest this career. We're trying to manifest abundance in our own life, but we're getting blocked because um, what's keeping the, us away from having this balanced energy is if we're not detaching, if we're not breaking away, breaking free from all this heartbreak and pain that we've been through and if we're not healing through that. When healing comes, that's when this Queen of Pentacles becomes upright and this is someone that is like a true divine feminine have, that have a balanced energy, um, very feminine, very motherly, very nurturing. And independent and abundant this is like i'm also getting like some energies of dependency from other people so getting into that independent state with the queen of pentacles so that's how we're coping that's what we're trying to heal too what else what our soul is truly truly wanting and there's a hermit card here the bottom of the neck seeking wisdom and um, the hangman here surrendering aside from those messages what do we need to heal what do we need to do um, what our soul is truly wanting in regards to these karmic things the empress very interesting because I was thinking of the Empress when I was talking about the Queen of Pentacles. They're both in reverse. Our soul is truly wanting to be this Empress, to embody this Empress. The Empress for me is like the true divine feminine. I already said it with the Queen of Pentacles, but I feel like there's like some sort of similar energies with that. But the Empress is like, the, she embodies the Queen, all Queens, Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords, Queen of one queen of pentacles in i feel like that in one is the um all of the queens in one energy is the empress she embodies all all of that someone this like is standing in your in your own power your your soul is wanting you to stand in your own power and the same that what I'm also getting with that is with the Empress in reverse, stop is mothering. Oh, it's mothering your divine masculine. And what I mean by that is that you're trying to do everything for him. Let him do his own healing. L set as an example. Try and um Heal your own shit. <laughs> balance your own shit. Balance whatever you need to balance. Heal whatever you need to heal. And be that empress. Um, shine your light. And I feel like that's the best way on how to deal with your divine masculine. You know. Yeah. It's like. For me, this is like trying to baby your divine masculine he knows what he has to he have to do he's probably not doing it the way you expect him to do it but he knows what what's up <laughs> he knows what's up 
um there yeah they can feel things too especially the most um yeah i feel like they're sensitive to these energies as much as we are so let them do their own healing the way they're doing it at the moment and it might not be the way that you hope they're doing it the way if it's they're not doing it the way you're doing it doesn't mean that they're not doing the work that's the message and i don't know why there's like pigeons here is stretching <laughs> two pigeons they're actually like it's like representing the twin flames too for me <laughs> but yeah i got distracted with that um now your higher self oh no your 3d self first what's your message for your divine ma masculine what do you want to say to your divine masculine is this like you're probably aware of this already if you're a divine feminine but at the same time th this could be something that you're not consciously aware if that makes sense but this is like the 3d mind your ego mind it is something that can still be affected by ego your human mind basically hope that's making sense so what one card what's what you want to say to your divine masculine what's your message what you want to let them know if you have the chance Oh, I got three cards here. And this card got bent. <laughs> Do you hate me? <laughs> you from so, For some of you, I feel like this. I got three cards here. So this can be um, three different people. Three different divine feminines. So first, or this could be whatever resonates. Take whatever resonates. It could be only two cards will resonate. But yeah. Do you hate me? Do you want to ask your divine masculine, do you hate me? Because you're not coming towards me. You are precious and you deserve to be treated that way. And this is the same card that came out in the divine masculine's reading. So it's like you're saying the same message to each other. You know, each other is precious. And, you know, it's like... You're seeing the potential of each other. Whether you are if whether the other person is not seeing that. It's like sometimes it's hard for us to see our truest potential. Like it takes another person to mirror that to us or to some or to relay that message to us or to treat treat us in a way that we deserve for us to truly know what how precious we are and how special we are and it could also be that it takes another person to treat us really badly intentionally or unintentionally for us to truly truly know our worth too it could also be that what i'm getting also is that it could it could be that you might have been treated badly and i'm thinking like in a if this another person is a narcissist and now you're like experiencing another a different kind of love if it's like you, your twin flame and you're now realizing it's like the reason why you've been um treated badly before badly i'm saying this in quotations like badly because this is like how you perceive things you might have been treated in a way that is like negative before it's like you have this standard now and it's like <sighs> what i'm trying to say here is that uh, the negative if we have been treated badly by another person before and now we've been treated and how we, we we deserve it's like you have a baseline now you're like you have something to compare it with if that's making sense 
it's like darkness like light will not be will not exist without darkness and whatever that darkness that we've been experienced we have experienced before because that's the message that is trying to channel through me but i'm trying um, i feel like i'm um losing <laughs> i can't explain it through words but I, f- I hope you're it's your it's making sense you will not appreciate um this thing this l- kind of love this kind of unconditional love from this twin flame situation if if you haven't experienced darkness before i hope that makes sense and um what you want to say to your divine masculine he didn't do anything wrong divine masculines <laughs> divine feminines we want it's like divine feminines wants wants to admit that we know divine fe- as divine feminines that it's our own craziness and um trust us to get through it so for divine masculines you didn't do anything wrong we know this for a fact divine ma- feminines that they, they didn't really do anything wrong we just some things we just took it personal and it's our own craziness i mean yeah truly you didn't do anything wrong divine masculines and i know my own craziness trust me to get through it and at the bo- um bottom of the deck i know i haven't made it very safe for you please don't give up on me please don't that's what the divine feminines want to tell the divine masculines now from the higher self what are the divine feminines want to tell their divine masculines this is like not something that is um connected with the ego mind this like uh, on a soul level or higher self the one that is connected through lifetime who knows who knows all what do you want to say to our divine masculines what do you want to communicate to them this card came up again do you know how many cards and the same cards keep coming up and that's just reaffirming that from the previous reading that i've done that has no sounds this card came up you have great taste and you know what i got from that so funny because it's like the soul our soul our higher self is like telling the divine masculine that you have a great taste because you know what because you have me as divine feminines <laughs> as a divine feminine and it's like it's like i don't know i don't wanna i, I don't wanna sound like i'm like this and that and i'm like you know like coming from an ego perspective but that's just it's very cheeky message but that is what i'm getting with that you have a great taste because i'm thinking you have a great taste why do why does divine feminine's higher self want to tell the divine masculine <laughs> basically that's what i got for that basically the reason why it came out again because that's the message that that's really the message and i admire your enthusiasm for life that's also what we want to tell our divine masculine weird that's weird for me but i don't, I don't know that's probably a specific message for someone i admire your persistence this i agree 
um, from our higher self, divine feminine, higher self to divine masculine, we admire our, their persistence because they've been through a lot and we know that. Even though we get impatient and frustrated with this whole thing, we still admire their persistence. We know that they're going through a lot and they're, they're, they're going through it. So, yeah. So, focusing on us now. going through i got a little bit distracted with this um what do we need to heal focusing on ourselves now let our divine masculines do their own thing what do we need to heal as divine feminines this sacral chakra came out and responsibility so i feel like that's the message sacral chakra came out from the previous reading this is all about creativity and this is all about responsibility so i feel like this being confident Whatever it is, the project that you've started on, you need to take action from for it. I know that for a fact with my, for a fact with my own self, including their own channel, I need to keep doing it, and um, keep doing my own work with with my other things that I've, I'm doing. So, yeah, I know that those like responsibilities that I have to be. It is present in the 3D. I have to take care of whatever this seed that I have, that I have planted because it's growing. It's like a baby plant now. <laughs> whatever this is, I've started. So I just have to keep going even though I have, I'm still not seeing the results. I'm still not seeing the tree, but I know there's there's something. I know I, I'm still see, I'm seeing some sort of results. And it's not probably the results that I'm expecting to get at the moment. But I know I'll get there. So that's the message oh, that we need to heal. Solar plexus chakra, our confidence, empowerment, our reliabilities, and a self the self discipline. Yeah, we we'll, we probably are procrastinating, divine feminines, and we know that. And if not, this is just the sacral chakra. This is like healing intimacy issues. Um, this can be about sexuality. This is about desires. This is about pleasures. This is about our connection and our mentality with, in regards to money. Um, this is about relationships. Openness within a relationship. That's what we need to focus on healing within our own self. Um, yeah, whatever one of those things that I've mentioned, what else? Emotions. It could also be emotions. Because it's just saying, in general, sacral chakra, whatever that is about, that's what we need to heal as divine feminines. Pleasure, I already said that. So it's like knowing what we deserve, being present in the moment because present card is trying to get out of that by being present in the present in the moment we're taking on the responsibility we're showing up basically we need to show up with life and to face whatever comes up day by day one at a time one day at a time basically that's the key thing here and at the same time knowing that we deserve this if we're trying to manifest something and we feel like we still have that doubt within us we're not going to be able to really attract that it's like basically you don't really have to really really truly really believe that it will happen but it helps if you really believe but it's like you're open to it you're open to that possibility if that makes sense and knowing that this is also healing um about knowing that we deserve something yeah this is about self-worth i'm getting so what's blocking us oh first before that what we need to surrender what do we need to surrender release 
surrender procrastination. I already know that. I know I'm procrastinating. <laughs> and I keep seeing that. <laughs> surrender for frustration. But what it is. That we really... Yeah. Surrender obsessive thinking. That's really the message here. Aside from surrendering frustration and surrendering pro procrastination, that could be a specific for someone, including myself. If you're obsessing about a person or situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help bring you clarity or even solve the problem. Obsessing about this, it's like, I feel like this comes up before because we we know that we feel and know that reunions will happen. And it's like it's so close yet so far. And we get so excited about it that we get too excited that we start to obsess, obsess again. And that's like delaying this thing even more. Yeah. Because we, we get into that chasing energy instead of attracting energy. So if you're obsessing about this situation and if, and if you're obsessing about your divine masculine, you know you need to heal that. This is what we really need to heal. And I get in that, I get into that, um, to be honest, I get into that, this feeling too. And, it, and if I... I am aware of that. I try to get myself out of that. This reminds me of the lover's card because it's the apple and the Eden. <laughs> Spiritual union. Um, surrender to wonder and awe. What else? What do we need to surrender to? What do we need to implement more in our life? To let surrender to effortlessness. See, look at the differences. Like it's like the polarities with this obsessive thinking versus effortlessness. This is what we need to to be in this state more of effortlessness. Stop pushing so hard. The art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river. I mean, what more can I say to that? Ah, I'm trying. I know. That's what we, I need to heal to myself. And um, what's blocking us, Divine Feminines? What is blocking us at this point of time? This is probably what we need to heal, but what's blocking us? One card. Ah, education. I'm seeing education here. Intention in a talisman. Directions. We cannot see the directions that we're heading. So that's blocking us. That's what's, That's why pro we're probably fearing to go to the unknown. But there's education here too. There's something that you need to do. It could be related to literally education. You need to start doing but you're not doing it yet and you're putting it off and you know you have to do it and i feel like i really recommend you focus on that because this union will is it will still happen even if you focus on this or not so enjoy your life and find um find your own passions and then live your own passions ah so many cards so that's preventing you from flying. This flying card is in reverse. I really want to get one card now. Why am I not getting? This one card was blocking us. What's the main card here? Balancing act. And this is an 11 card. This is a twin flame card. But it's in reverse. We're basically imbalanced. And you know why. This could also be about travel. We probably you probably are in a long distance with your divine masculine. I mean, yeah, that's definitely a block obstacle along the way. But um, try not to look at it in a, as an obstacle. Try to look at it as a blessing in disguise. 
trying to look at it at the bigger picture and it's happening for a reason. You pro there's probably something that you need to do um, where you're currently at. And your divine masculine needed to do something else in where he's currently at. So balancing your energies regarding on that. So that's what's blocking us divine feminines. So how are we consciously trying to take action towards this? Or it's like, what do we need to, instead of asking that, yeah, okay, this is what I'm doing. First, I'm going to ask, um, how are we consciously taking action on this? And the intention card is here again, in the reverse, but... And how are we supposed to take action towards this? So first, how are we dealing with this consciously? This blocks. And we have here the encouragement in reverse. So we're getting, because we're not balanced and we have this obsessive thinking, um, it's like we're getting this courage with this twin flame relationship. That's just what I'm getting. We know something's ending, but we're getting discouraged with it. That's how we're consciously, because of the blocks. And I feel like this is 9-11. Another 11 card, um, twin flame card for me. 9 and 11. But what else? 54 from the book. Encouragement in reverse. You are receiving a nudge in the right direction. A misstep isn't the end of the world. You've fallen into a trap of false courage and only humility will lead you out of it. Perhaps you weren't listening to your intuition and, you're, and now you're in a jam. Being too self-reliant without knowing the ropes has brought you to this place. Don't become too discouraged. All is well and you can always start again. Take another road and surely discover new territories where love really blooms. Just remember to surrender. Rely on your higher power. You can't always get what you want, but spirit knows your needs. Something better waits around the corner. So yeah, we've stopped an obstacle along the way and we're getting discouraged because of that. And what's the advice? How how the universe, the spirits wants to go, the divine wants us to go towards this instant instead of getting discouraged. Take whatever those you've been through, take what take those like perceived mistakes as like learnings. Now when we encounter the same obstacle again, we know how to get around it now because we've learned. <clears throat> healing heal the ouch this is like going towards healing and I'm I'm like seeing like healing healing the wound and not forcing it to heal like sometimes we get too much into this um, connection that we're forcing to heal things even though they're really not healed healed yet because we want to get into this connection. But take time with healing and follow your own rhythm with your own healing. And you only know, you are the only person that knows how to heal this and what, how much time you need to heal, whatever it is that you need to heal. This, whatever this is related to this heartbreak here with the Three of Swords here. Heal the ouch. Going towards healing. C11. 11 card 9 is all about endings whatever this is everything has an everything is changing everything has um this unpleasant situation it will end so this is the advice going towards healing this is the conscious action that we need to take and you know what it is that you need to heal. So, final message. What it is that our soul is truly wanting as divine feminines. What 
what our soul truly wanting and i'm getting one card from the sacred rebel another card and this came out like look we're we're in the darkness but we're we're not like this happened because we're not listening to our intuition it could be that and we're being too self-reliant we're trying to do everything by our own selves but we, do, we don't have to do anything everything this is like listening to guidance being in partnership with um with the divine with with your guides listening for truth truth can sometimes be painful to hear but it's the truth so it's also that about facing that truth whatever this is about the, our soul craves the truth so if you're not this is all about also living authentically living our own personal truth being truthful to our to other people around about this and the most importantly being true to yourself this is living authentically. Yeah. Listening. The key word here also is listening. What's trying to challenge <laughs> channel to me is like, you know when, when we talk to someone and we try to communicate with someone, whether it's a, our divine masculine or not, we're trying to communicate with another person because we want to reply instead of we try try to listen to them. That's also what's um the message that is about. So see it's a nine again, nine nine, eleven eleven, nine nine endings for new beginnings. It's three and six, right? Yeah. What else is the message? I feel like I need to look at the book. So there must be something here. Truth it speaks to us constantly but not always in words. It may communicate through a feeling that is hard to put into words but brings an inexplicable sense of peace, trust, and knowledge that somehow everything is going to work out perfectly even if there is little evidence of how it is all going to happen. You know where your truth is. You know that it, your truth is about, your personal truth is about this twin flame connection. If you're, especially if you're connecting with this. And even though, and because you, you feel this sense of peace within this, when you're trying to connect with this connection. So, even though it's something that is, hard to put into words and hard to think in a way that is like logical in a logical way something is not logical you know you know that somehow you have that knowledge that somehow that everything is going to work out perfectly even if there is little evidence of how it is all going to happen and that's about this twin flame journey so yeah that's the message for us divine feminines at the moment this is where we're currently at i hope whatever you're going through right now i hope um that cleared something out and you resonated with the messages and um if you feel guided to book a reading with me all my details are down below and thank you so much thank you so much i'm thankful for you and i'm thankful for this journey I'm sending you all love and light. Um.